<laughs> All right. <laughs> and uh, we got everybody dropping in to the match here. So we're going to see this pretty stacked. PV yeah, look at, looks yeah. nuts. Uh, and I'm not really seeing them spread yet to go no. towards Big Res, which seems aggressive, and there's which our would match it up. Yeah, so, and going to be inside the police department. Uh, so going to land in, going to go outside, probably try and get the keys off that vehicle real quick. This is, again, the winner from matchup number one. Thuzma, one of the guys that we saw do pretty well mm -hmm. through that last match, going to get eliminated here first in round number two. Shiko, though, going to get upstairs and start getting some loot. Really, this floor of the PD, not a lot of loot there. It's not really stacked. It needs to get up or uh, into the underground. Really, me, if I'm going to land there, I typically try and land car and then go into the, like, auto shop in mm -hmm. the back and then into the office building there. Don't like that building for looting at all. The police department itself, though you would think would have more weapons in it, it really doesn't. This is actually one of my favorite areas where we're looking at right now to land. Right outside Romero's. Fairly, yeah, because... You do have the option to pick up that three. There's generally a vehicle there, but look at this push. Storm is going straight in. He is not afraid. But a Luma, a, a Luma Q? I thought I'm you called him Storm in for a second. No, Storm Storm is. Storm is. I mean, he's got the vehicle. Ooh. He's going to try to get away. It looks like he landed one shot, got the helmet off of him. But he's going to get the helmet traded back in return, Ooh. and down he goes with a bullet in the back. should always face your opponent so you can see what's coming. Uh, and actually, one of the reasons why I run my... Uh, my free look is actually on my mouse, my thumb. Mm -hmm. And it's so that I can look and jump while looking at them. I'm still facing them, but I know where I'm going. Uh, it's definitely one of those things where you don't want to just give them your back if you can get away. At least do, like, jump whips to get away something. Mm -hmm. uh, but going to get punished the there and taken now, out. Yeah. yeah. So, Xena, Showman, Ch uh, Chubok hanging out over on the D side of the dam. You and the D need to relax. Oh, well, let's get some bardos. I'm hungry. That's for dinner. That that Lorenzo might be that might be my him. favorite cut from like one spectator to another that I've seen <laughs> on any of the games I've casted. Like Bardo, Bardo wouldn't tell me to stop. No, Bardo would never say stop. Bardo would never say stop. All right, <laughs> El Video though he's hanging out over here looking for some shots. Zena now running across the dam here, trying to find his way down towards the uh, next warehouse here There's in this safe zone. zone? Going to be dead center almost. It's a little farther north than the one we saw in the EU region, mm -hmm. but Humperdinck Gorge is in there. We could potentially see a pull towards yeah. that safe zone that we yeah. saw, and we saw how much it affects the mental game of needing to recognize it and get there early. Really, after the next circle announces if it's there, they need to be on they need to be there already, and preferably down at the west end of it where it's a little bit harder to get up it. That way you can let all the other people fight on the east side and you can fight them off. Exactly. I was kind of looking at that, trying to decide how much of that I thought was going to shift towards Dragon at all. I mean, there's so much that it could happen. Going towards Dragon Lake is probably the l worst case, maybe unless it shifts to PV. But again, we want that. The players probably don't want that. So if I'm playing in this game, am I looking at Dragon Lake being the worst possible outcome? Or is I, I it think I think Dragon right Lake course? is is kind of hard for it to get hit really because it is really uh, really at the south yeah. edge of it. And oh. some shots coming out here onto the king. Get tagged up left oh. and right from Nelson. Helmets getting How popped left five? and right. Barely holding on is the king. Needs to get out of there. Doesn't have another helmet on. Doesn't even matter if you put another helmet on. You're Ooh. one shot anyways. Finally gets the helmet on. Once he gets away to get some healing off, recognizes that Nelson's going to come around and pop him. Get that gets heal. all the way outside. He should be able to get the heals off and stay alive here. Nelson has not seen him, does not know that he's outside that fence. He has an opportunity here to go for the shotgun shell. If he doesn't see him, there it oh. is, and he's going to punish him. The king barely gets out of that one alive, gets out in the blind spot of Nelson, and is able to come around and connect that one pump, takes him down. Great play from the king to keep cool under pressure. And, I mean, going out in 69th is just not the way you want to go here, and I'm sure Nelson is not happy. No, 69th is not enough to get you up there into the uh, into the top 10s. You're going to need a big game three. I'm not quite I think Nelson made it Could decently go for far. A big game four. Decently far into uh, game one. Going to need a very big uh, game three there. Going to have yeah. to take down you know a top three position probably to get into that top 10. Very unfortunate play, but so smart. So smart. Great, great play out of Decay. Yeah, uh, maintaining, maintaining your cool in.
pressure situations like that and then setting yourself up to be able to get that elam that way mm -hmm. was great on their part. Well, and a Lumiq is going to be lying cold on the floor as Fandu is able to do that. So I think Fandu is the name of the team because this is a different player. So it's Kara. No, same one. Kara same one. I think. Is, it? is there another Fandu? Did I miss that? Fandu I think this is the only show? Fandu. It's the only Fandu I've seen. Maybe I'm just seeing things at this point. You're delirious. I could possibly be delirious. It's it just is. standing next Do to you for this Do we have an EMT on in-house? Makes me a little uh, warm. That's what it is. It's all yeah. right. I'm getting it's patted okay. on the shoulder. I love how many times I've been patted during this stream. Like, great, Fiorman, great. <laughs> All right, the King, definitely that player that we just saw pull off some great plays. Player pulling great plays makes him the player. Play, play, play. Play, play. Uh, how many times can I say that or different forms of the word play? Uh, he's going to be rotating, though, having to get out of there. Military base not going to be safe where we just saw that fight go down. See people starting to rotate. One of the people going to be rotating really late. Drop O'Day down in the bottom left corner. You can see him. Rogue Nesh going to need to make a move. Pasaki. Fur. Fuskel. Uh, Fusk. Fuskzol? I, I, fusk for that's Zool? a that's a dangerous name. There is no fusk, only Zul. There, that possibly uh, a lot of these guys going to need to be rotating in. Majority of the circle is already occupied. So this is one of those safe zones. When it hits center, a lot of people are already there. They're already at the cities. They're already sitting in this zone. So this is one of those ones where it's hard to rotate into late. Where corner zones you can rotate into a little bit later. These zones are already pretty packed right off the start for the opening zone. How Xavier plays this one is going to be very interesting. So he does pick up the fresh Jeep, moves it in. He does not want to give JDX an opportunity to get out. Realistically, he needs to destroy one of those two Jeeps and leave. At the moment, I don't think he needs to destroy oh. anything. He can go ahead and take the fights for the moment JD and be had all a right. Car behind that ridge. Okay, so JD is going to be able to just go ahead and right away. But at, at that point, you might as well keep both vehicles, separate them enough that they don't both get blown up. They may see one blow up your car, think that they're both that you don't have another one and mm -hmm. leave. So I, I don't think blowing up the car until you're absolutely ready to leave is worth it. JDX has a good idea. There's a player there. Now we can see Mano. That you know what Mano means in South America? Like if they're speaking Portuguese or Spanish, it means no hands. Hands? So, I mean, I Mano hands? would be hands. So his name is I am hand, or I am 4,000 hands. I am hand 4,000? Is he the? Is he like an upgraded cyborg version? Ooh. Can you imagine how good you would be at StarCraft II? Yeah, I, I mean, think about that. I mean, just load up load up the uh, operations on the right hand, and you're, you, yeah. got, you got some lock-in. Yeah, exactly. A little toggle, you know? A little just toggle. Built in. Please don't do that. It's not good. Well, Mitch's it, game going to put shots down onto S2, getting rid of his ATV. We're getting rid of both of them. I think there was a blue one right to the right of it also. I think that blew up both vehicles when he hit it. I mean, strand your opponent. It is a viable strategy. Definitely. It has worked in the past. They're going to get stuck in gas. They're not going to be able to rotate as quickly. And that's one of those things. You, you, you want to stop. Movement is such a underrated part of any game, any type of game. It's important in, in first persons and MOBAs and everything. The more action per minute, the more movement speed you can get. I mean, all of those things. So you remove that vehicle, and they're sitting ducks. Especially when they're at cabins like that, where there's no tree coverage around it. There's nothing. There's water on one side and a bunch of open field on the others. It definitely puts them into a rough situation, and it forces people into bad decision-making, too. Uh, most of the time, people are going to leave at the wrong time in that situation because they're going to feel the pressure of being there. So they're either going to leave too late or they're going to leave way too early. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm curious to see when this bubble will burst here with this zone. There's a lot of area for people to hide. We still have most of Pleasant Valley in there. We still have a lot of that north side of where pretty much all this is uh, just kind of a lot of fields. But, I mean, he's ready to take this fight. Eo Bronx wants it. Every time we've seen him, he's been willing to take the fight, loses a helmet there for a second to get right back in his car and try and get out of there. Triceps going to smell the blood in the water, and he's going to try and hunt this one down. I'm not sure he's aware. The car, a little bit slower than Bronx, but it looks like Bronx is not afraid to possibly slow down and take this fight. I mean, he might just be looking for a hard cover spot to stop the car and use a rock. You could realistically get far enough ahead, seat swap, put a kit on or a bandage or something, get rolling. But that's not going to be the case. Triceps hops out of his own vehicle finally, throws some shots over, not going to end up paying off. Nothing really hit. 
So Yobrong should be able to heal up here, get back to full health, but Xena's nearby, and now you can actually see that Yobronx is still pretty close too, and Xena might be chasing after him. Yeah, it looks like a couple people are chasing after him and trying to put some damage into him, but Triceps does not like the fact that Xena is shooting at his prey. He's going to take a couple shots at him himself. Not going to really do much, though. Little Valiant going to go down elsewhere on the map to Johnny Fast. Masaki, hey, there we one go. of the players to keep an eye on, sitting currently just outside the top 10 in 11th place after match number one. Got about 50% fuel, right around 50% health on the vehicle. Looks like he's going to be coming back. He didn't hear any shots. I don't think he got it earlier. He just had let his car roll too far. He is going to go ahead and loot this one. No smoke nade down. Mm, not a lot in it, but now he's going to have gas. He has gas, and he got a two hit. That's that's still enough. That's definitely worth picking up, if, oh, especially yeah. if it's free like that. Didn't even have to waste a smoke on it. Definitely worth it. I mean, it's an advantage, and, and any little advantage is going to be so important later on in the game. I hope that he puts that in his vehicle for a little while. Perhaps just wears a makeshift so it doesn't get tapped off while he's driving. If he can hold on to it and keep it till the end game, it's definitely worth, but it's uh, his car's already at, was at about 50%. Mm -hmm. I think we were looking at it at the same status as uh, triceps here. Um, so right, where's it, the shifting? Where's it the shifting? It may not be worth. We're going to find out in just a moment. I Hang tight. You, ooh. There it is. Ooh. That is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven people are in that zone. Maybe eight, nine, ten at this point. Out of 65. Out of 65, and how many houses really are there? Four, 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 16. He's thinking. Really I mean, hard. you could probably fit, there's about 40, probably roughly about 40 to 45 houses in there. If so no one decides to fight at all. If no one decides to fight at all, we could pack about. Probably about 45, 40 to 50 people into Big Res. Uh, Probably not going to happen. Not enough. Not enough space, no. as you can see. Not enough uh, <laughs> Not enough vacancies for 63. You're going to get taken out elsewhere on the map, though, by a headshot. Good night to you. Has said good night to that fight and has left into the sunset. Did not want that fight earlier. You can see the air drop up ahead. The bombs come through. Zena well, so, looking for some shots here. Might be able to land him. It is onto an ATV, but the ATV is able to get out of the corner. Vitno just outside of the way, but Chabog's dugs go down. We've seen uh, Wesley chasing people around. Wesley's been pretty aggressive. Wesley's just looking to scrap. But now Zena does have Black Dove very close as well, but it looks like he won't be going the same angle. Krabby House right in front of Vitno. And now they're heading to that res. I mean, everybody's running for it. They're trying to find their home. Is he, or is he chasing them down? I, th I think realistically he's looking for a house now. The question is, which house is going to be open? That one's open for him. He just doesn't know. So he has to be careful here. But at the same point, you have, I mean, everything's 50-50 in life, right? It either happens or it doesn't. Do you pick a house that has a person in it or don't you? Uh, good luck. I mean, he's got better than a 50-50 shot right now, but he's going to run right into Bull. Bull going to step out and start spraying some bullets into him. Gets a couple hits, takes a helmet, takes another shot to the body. Going to ride that ATV all the way down, gets that helmet, going to try and... That is not that is not what you're going for. There you are. There's the smoke nade. Gonna get a smoke off and try and heal. This here, to me, if Bull was gonna chase, which he's not gonna. There, there's no reason to put yourself out there right now. If he was gonna chase, that smoke nade, I don't think really does all that much. Somebody's just gonna throw something down on top of you. Yeah. You're kind of almost giving away where you are. From that angle looking down, there's almost like a little indent in the rock where you can hide safely. That's just a waste of a throwable. Well, Zena's out in the open, but so Ooh. Wesley has been pinched out there. And he will have to fall back. Takes a lot of damage down to 19. His vehicle down below 50 at this point. Got a new helmet on. That's fine, though. 19 health. Doesn't really matter. David going to get taken out. Wherever he decided to hide out this match That's was a shame. not. Huh? That's a shame. Yeah. Didn't, I really didn't make it far. I'm sorry. David did yeah. not live up to your standards. <laughs> be, do, be, be a better David. I didn't. It seems like you have some hostilities towards David's. Is there something that has happened in your life that you'd like to talk with the chat about? No. Okay. Then we'll move on. <laughs> All right, Xavier, looking for some shots there. Oh. I had the shot. Xavier he gets the assisted. Kill. The king gets the kill. Xavier got the assist. Allison goes down. Benny Monster going to get eliminated by Bull. Now looking for some long-range shots is Xavier trying to find Fur out in the open there. Not going to be able to hit those shots. Not enough lead. Still trying to land it. Xena does get taken out. Now Zeta's skin. His vehicle is quite low. Gets blown up. 
but he's able to get away. No damage to him at all. Finds an ATV immediately, and it was not even touched. FBI Frost will go down to Delhi's hands with a little bit of help with the gas. Now, looks like that bubble is bursting as the kill feed is lighting up left and right. 52 players remain here, and I think maybe a quick slowdown before once again that eye passes and we get back into the hurricane. Volto going to get taken out here by T. Trill Hero looks like there's somebody driving right behind them. We can hear some fight going down in here. Zeta Skin and Kravi. Gonna hop on board with Kravi here. He's hanging out, holding this window. He's going to come in, looking for it with the shotgun. Another player hasn't seen him yet due to the angle that he was at. Where's Finds going? him. Going to get the headshot. Zeta yeah. going to get taken down there. Zeta's definitely one of those people that kind of showed up. He was sitting in a bad spot for the third-person camera to really check that left corner, mm -hmm. and it worked out really, really well for the other player. Eo Bronx, Ooh, very close to that vehicle. Pisaki also just got eliminated, so definitely not where he wanted to go out at. The gas doing work takes out two players there almost immediately. And now you can see B4 right there with Kaitoro, and so is Ayamano. And there's Titano going out too, the player you wanted to pay attention to. Finally does get taken out. Maiko right in front of B4. Putting some shots down with that shotgun. Has the grenade out. Going to throw that down. That could be a great shot, but it bounces off a vehicle. Michael's able to get back inside of these apartments. And we'll see if they can find each other or how this is going to happen. But Michael goes down. Going to go down yeah, to Tiago. And here comes the play from Delhi. Oh, looking for a shot. Not going to hit it. Enough. Stein's going to be right past him there. If Delhi had the shotgun out there. He may have had a play if he maybe whipped a little bit. I think if he would have realized it was coming sooner and mm. not jumped in the car and jumped back out, that kind of offset his timing there. We can hear some shots right ahead. Brunt, the king, coming at, uh, coming right at him here. Not able to get the hit so far. Ooh. Finds the helmet. Going to be able to finish him off. So Brunt, the king, going to be able to keep cool under pressure once again. Get some shoddy shots off. Pick himself up a car. Going to pick himself up a little bit of loot. Delhi going to get eliminated there. And now we can see Brunda King has actually taken damage from Shiko. Wasn't a versus lineup there. So has been in a fight with Shiko, who's our winner from match number one. Well, here is Showman. Has Duke in front of him. But now he's taking some damage from the gas. You can see it's doing at least four damage per tick right now. It hurts. Has a vehicle, so he'll be able to move. But he wants to find these other players. He's Trilly Hero right in front of him. Not sure if he's going to get that kill or not. Tyago goes down. Oof. B4 goes down as well. And there we'll go A.H. Grizzly, too. I believe it off on the side. But, man, yeah, I mean, the King has been doing work, honestly, in this game. He's he, at three kills. I'm I'm uh, pretty impressed with everything we've seen out of him so far. Uh, just so far he's done moving. We haven't really seen a big AR fight from him. It's been shoddy kills. But we've seen him stay cool under pressure, and mm -hmm. we've seen him make some good plays under pressure, extreme levels of pressure, down at like seven, five, seven to six health and able to still keep his cool. So he's somebody that I think has a good shot of going further into this match. And we can see on screen there, the circle is going to start pulling a little bit to the northeast. It's going to start forcing people out of their houses. None of those are going to be safe anymore. Um, and out of the apartments, it looks like, as well. So we'll have to watch for those guys as they start to rotate in. Well, we saw Trill Hero get taken out there. And now Mitch is gaming pretty much out in an open field, using this rock to the best of his advantage to be able to move around. Never found shoes. Always find it interesting when players don't find Ooh. shoes later on. But the shotgun battle comes out as Adnax going to flip around and find Maiko. Take him out with that headshot with the shotgun. Only took about 28 damage himself. Yeah, only caught a couple of those pellets. Didn't eat them all. Ligo in a close range fight. Another shotgun battle inside, inside of uh, Big Res here. Ligo trying to catch Ooh. back up. Not enough, though. Or is enough. He got the. No, they traded. No, they did in the gas. They traded. The gas got the kill there. And look at this rush Chunked coming in from Kai Toro. Just moving his way into the caravan. Going to park inside. Fahino's here. Duke's here. Good night to you is here. Hey Krabby guys, House is going in. too. Just comes rolling in. Just like, hey, guys, this one's open, right? Let's all hang oh. out. And here comes the fight. Shotty's going out. Krabby going to pay. Good night to you. Going to be the one to take him down. Mitch is gaming. Going to find himself an elimination. Lee Leo also going to find one. And Tox7 finding that last one onto Vrau Triceps. So unlucky for Kravi. He picked the one that he was in. I mean, there was there was there he was going to go to anybody's, but he picked the wrong person, apparently. Yeah, he picked the wrong one. He should have gone to the other side. 
he got mad. He kind of moved in without coming in and, like, having the conversation with him. Right. You know, he just kind of forced his way in. He was trying to go over there and punish him for it. Bamsi, though, is going to find himself another elimination onto Urson. Well, and now Adnax. Did he just throw Molotov into his smoke? I, I think he did. Maybe he doesn't know. Uh, that doesn't work. Well... Maybe he's doing anything he can because he has four players in front of him inside. Ooh, rifle I saw that hunting rifle, tossed. yeah. Chico's goes down, so our winner from game one goes out in 16th this time. That's still pretty good. Probably going to be sitting in first still unless one of these other guys was still in it from last time. Vamsi. Vamsi could unseat mm -hmm. him. So Vamsi's yeah, going to be the third. one to keep an eye on. Unless Vamsi just went down. Did Showman just eliminate Vamsi? So we're going to get taken out by Adnax here. And now Adnax pays the ultimate price as Tidzen going to go ahead and take him out of the match. Well, Vahino is going to throw a grenade out. Doesn't really affect anybody at all. So he did get that player He's just making sure it was working. I always check my grenades first. Yeah. yeah. I check each one of them into a bush. Yeah, I, I want to check each one individually there. Bull going to go down in 12. A little bit better performance here for him than he had in matchup number one. Run to King again. Going to keep on using that rock. Finally get himself rotated back around into the smoke. Nate as the shot stopped. He's going to be able to get topped off here. Duke has decided that he's going to move in now. Mm -hmm. So now we've got four people that have moved in. Although they've been all there. Those four have been there, well, there the was entire a fight. time. There was a fight. Somebody got eliminated. Somebody came in and filled his hole. Oh, no. So the, there have been four. Someone came in, tried to get in. He couldn't get in. So we oh, saw I one person one of the other players right come in. out. No. Oh, okay. So I was talking about nonsense then. Please, everybody, ignore what I was saying. Ooh, good Unless I was you. right. Ooh, oh. hits the first shot, hits a second wow. shot, not able to get enough. The car eating a lot of those shots, and he now just has to watch the car roll away and leave him behind. Bettino going to go down here, and that's going to be 10th place. We're now into the top nine for matchup number two. This Duke gonna TV going to be taken out by Catioro. Now going to go down is Catioro at the hands of Vamsi. Vamsi, that person that we've been watching for, has been very, very consistent through these matches thus far. He's now trying to hold this ridge line. Needs to take it out. Uh, take a look over to the left. There is a player flame hoppering in that car. Oh, I love that. There it's is a flame hopper favorite. in that vehicle. Is that good night to you? It is. It is no, good night. Dead. To you. He's dead. Oh, did he get eliminated? He did okay, get eliminated. He just hasn't left yep. yet. All right, Mitch is gaming now, looking for some shots. Teed's right on top of you, Mitch. Take he him runs. out. Teed gonna make it out of there somehow. Showman now gets eliminated, and we are down to six players remaining. Well, Age Grizzly. Right there with Teasen, but he's not going to bother going for this one. Bandina up here as well. Mitch is gaming. Will go down in six or top five are now left. Rory the King going to jump into that vehicle that it was that it was good night to you taking out. But it's Ooh. so low, it's on fire at this point. Bansy's just beaming things right now. Some shots coming out from Band Bandanina. And he's Ooh. got the hunting rifle looking for the shot on to Brunda King. He got that. Sees oh. the top of the helmet oh, he there. No has to re no, he had oh, he four did. in it. He had Why four in it. I'm not sure. He may have decided that he wasn't going to hit that shot and decided to just pull back. I mean, you saw the helmet. He had it. Over the rock and the nade picks up Bamsi, so he goes out in five, but that is not bad. That is not bad at all. Ooh. Bendahina is going to be stuck out in the open here, but finds a shotgun kill. Now looking for the second one, trying to find it. Oh. Not enough. Ah, Grizzly going to take him down at 77 health. Is Ah, Grizzly, last player left alive. Brun, the king. He's starting He's to make pushing. this press up. Here comes the step up. Helmet off on oh. Brun. Grizzly going to finish that one off. Takes down the overall win in matchup number two for South America. I mean, 